Today's women program. Also, your gold chairman elect. We are now going into our program. We have opening prayer by Reverend Sarah C. Perry, Assistant Pastor, Christian Baptist Church. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Please let me have your attention as we come to present this occasion to the Lord because He is first and foremost in all that we do. Without Him, we can do nothing. And so putting him first will lead us in the right direction. Praise God to be here tonight to give this invocation. And I congratulate the, today's women for the good work that you all are doing. Keep it up and put your trust in the Lord, and he will take you through. Our God and our Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for this day. We want to thank you because this is the day you have made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. We will rejoice for the things that you Call us to do, dear Lord. We cannot do it except you lead us. You direct us. So we come this evening to present that today's women to you. Lord, the Bible tell us of women of yesterday that did so much. Women like Dorcas, Mary Magdalene, Salome, and all those women in the Bible that left the example for us today. And so, Father, we come presenting them to you that their work will leave an impact on those that are coming. We thank you for bringing them together. We thank you, Lord, for keeping them together. And we pray that whatever their vision may be, that you will lead them, God, direct them. That whatever they will do, Lord, will be to the to your glory. Thank you for all that you have been and will continue to be. We thank you for this nation where, dear Lord, we can come together and 
worship you, we can come together and do those things that we will not be stopped, Father God. Because in other places, people are restrained from even praising you. So we thank you for all that this nation is and we have been a part of it. Bless this occasion, O oh God. And Lord, we ask you to continue to let it be that which you have called it to be. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Ryan Ferry, for the beautiful prayer. Welcome and introduction of occasion will be done by no other than our own sister and vice president elect, which is Ine Andrews. Good evening. <clears throat> Madam guest speaker. Madam President, officers and members of today's women, family, and friends. <clears throat> Once again, we have reached a milestone in today's women as we celebrate our ninth Christmas gala. Today's women <clears throat> organization is an organization of women trying to make a difference. We welcome you here this evening as you, as you celebrate with us this evening, you will cup wood. Uh, there will be discussion about the highlights of today's women and where we intend to go. You will also be feasting on some sumptuous and delicious food. We we'll also have our bar that is open, and we hope that you can fellowship with us and have a good time. And again, I welcome you to this, to this occasion. And I hope that you are relaxed, kick off your shoes, and have a good time as we dance the night away with our Grand March. I hope we all can participate in the, in the dancing of the, uh, the Grand March. Again, I welcome you to today's Women's Night Christmas Gather. Okay, I hope you are having a nice time. History of today's women will be done by Sister Sierra Waxen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Thank you. Today's women organization better known as TWO, was founded in October of 2001 as a nonprofit 501c3 charitable organization. We are also registered in the state of Maryland as an exempt nonprofit organization. Our membership consists of hardworking, sleeves rolling women.